All right, everybody, we're going to look at doing a circular pattern of a feature. And so you'll see I have this ring right here. and I have a feature that I'd like to put multiples around this circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on circular pattern. Um, sometimes that circular pattern is not showing up. It starts looking like this first. And so um, what you want to do is select the down arrow and then choose circular pattern. All right, so once I've selected a circular pattern, it's going to ask for what entities I want to pattern. First of all, before I do that, I want to choose, I don't want to um, do a pattern of this whole, of this part multiple times. I just want to do a, a feature. So I want to do this little tiny feature on that part. So I'm going to choose a feature pattern. Once I choose that, I, I need to select which features I want to pattern. If I just click on that, it's only going to pull up fillet one. Um, and that's not really what I want. I want both extrude two and fillet one. So I find that's actually easier if I click on them in the browser. So I chose extrude two and you can choose fillet one in the browser instead. So whatever features make that part, that's what you want to make sure to choose. Okay. When I go to axis of pattern, I'm going to choose um, one of my circles. It doesn't really matter which one. I'm going to click on that. You'll notice this one pops up red. Um, but if I click on this button that says apply per instance, then that goes away. So the red tells me it's not going to work. When the red goes away, I know it's going to work. So if you click on that apply per instance, it usually makes it work a little bit better. Uh, you don't always have to do that. It just kind of depends on your pattern. So now I can choose however many of those um, I want. So if I want 10, I want them equally spaced all the way around is 360 degrees. Then... Um, that looks like what I want, so I'm going to hit check mark. And now I have a circular pattern. Um, and then just as a, a bonus feature here, I want to show you, if you don't like seeing all those lines, that looks kind of weird to you, then you can um, choose shaded without edges. And then it kind of looks a little bit more like it would in real life. So just a little extra tip.